Hello. Hello and welcome everyone to this live stream here. Letting everyone get into the space. Hope you're doing well. I got a big one for everyone here. So just everyone relax and come in to the space. It's a very, very early morning today. It's 5.55, which is perfect. If you go and look that up, this is all about great changes, massive changes, and whew, does the world out there need a proper change, huh? What do you think? Or is everything okay, do you think? Is it? Has the world been sorted? Are we in a position to celebrate already and party? Or are we still in sort of like a, a transition phase where, I don't know how you're feeling about this, however, I mean, especially with the experience that I have to share with you, um, it has everything to do with the new paradigm. So the new paradigm, a new way of thinking, a new possibility of how life can also work outside the limited, narrow vision of, oh, you have to go to work because you have to pay your rent and that's the only way that life can function. Those new ideas, that new paradigm is being born right now. Everything's about the new paradigm. Many people talk about the new paradigm. They talk a good talk, yada yada. However, what is it truly? Shouldn't we be having proper foundational talks and discussions about this subject? What the new paradigm truly is? How it looks like? How do you perceive things? So that's why I'm opening up the space here. So I want to get everyone up to date that this weekend has been absolutely amazing for me. Everything is crashing in my life. We find ourselves in a situation, me and Liz, that we, on the 23rd of October, um, that's exactly a week ago, there was a confrontation um, with the guy we rent the place from, to keep it simple, um, and not a physical confrontation or anything, but instead of communicating directly as humans or mankind does, which is what I would do, taking full responsibility and communicating directly, hey, you know, we need to talk. No, the program that governs this guy's perception of reality makes him text, text us that we have to move out by the end of next month, which is um, yeah, it, it, I was just like, well, okay, that's the signal of the source, the signal of the new paradigm, that our, our new life is beginning now, which is great. Let the old life collapse. You see, the only suffering is that which we induce onto ourselves by trying to hold on to the old life. This is why, from my experience, you see, I'm talking from direct personal experience. It's called wisdom. It's in the information pyramid. It's on the highest echelons. It's the highest. It's the peak of the information pyramid. Is not just 
sitting there and reading millions of books and what other people think about the fly agaric going to talk about that or what other people think about datura or what other people think about any subject you want to come up with no what's on top of the information pyramid is the wisdom is direct personal experience and I can talk from direct experience that letting go and trust in life is the hardest thing anyone can do it was the hardest thing that I ever did and continue to do however with the experience that I've had this weekend I feel like reborn I feel like a great reset we'll also be talking about this there's so much to get into I will only talk about the most fundamental aspects I've got a few slide, slides prepared here also for everyone I'm going to only talk about the most fundamental knowledge which I've got in the slides here that I've prepared for you it's a very early morning here in Austria and we've even had today quite funnily a great reset of time you know about time the concept of time and where that came from the mythological origins with father time being chronos that's why we also talk about chronology and chronological order chronic diseases spreading everywhere throughout the world because people are so fucked up in their mind that don't realize that all illnesses are psychosomatic soma meaning bodily comes from the psyche and that the only freaking virus that exists is in the mental capacities of people that actually believe they have to follow the orders no matter how criminal they are that is the real virus that has been spreading in our world and the Gnostic takeover is the antidote to this virus it's the maverick the Gnostic takeover is an idea can't grasp it Oh, let, let me hold that idea and let me... What the dark occult have tried all the time to put the Gnostic takeover down to not have the idea spread. They've put it down for a long time. Subscriber counts going down all the time and just lingering in some sort of... Um, and lots of witches and black magicians watching the content. Uh, it's... It's crazy. I, I'm not kidding. I have witches contact me directly. I even meet witches. That it's crazy how much under attack this channel is. However, that's just what it is. That was my experience. It was my experience because now the Great Reset has taken place, and it's just so coincidentally for coincident coincidence theorists which I'm not I'm not a coincidence theorist I'm what the coincidence theorists would call a complete crazy conspiracy nutter oh I want to be the nuttiest of them all I want to take down the conspiracy culture of the conspiracy theory and make the conspiracy theorists call me a conspiracy theory and me a conspiracy theorist because I want to bust all the bubbles because it's all about freedom it's all about freedom that's why you're only gonna get realness here on this channel you're only gonna get me for the time being on this channel however even that may change now because we're entering into a whole new realm of infinite possibilities happening right now it's the most exciting and the most amazing time 
that anyone can imagine. So I'm quite on a roll here today. It's hang on, ain't got a watch. It's six o'clock in the morning. I've been up. Started this live stream at the five fifty-five, as I've already said. I've been up since three o'clock in the morning. Try to get back to sleep. I had such an intense dream. Try to get back to sleep. Didn't work. So I said, right, this live stream wants to happen. And I had my first two really powerful, um, really connecting powerfully powerfully connecting experiences with the medicine that is called the fly agaric the amanita muscarina or a muscaria in german it's called the fliegenpilz and it is often within the cultural programming that we've been marinating in and being saturated in, in this culture of madness. It's a collective psychosis that we've been going through, even before the Covidian cult's imposition of this crisis since the beginning of this decade. Oh, the collective psychosis has been well in place for 40, 50, let's go back to the Second World War. That's when they actually closed down mental institutions, when you go and look that up. As they were doing their experiments for MK Ultra during the 50s and 60s, and that came out public in the 1970s, and even with the material where most of the true material they kept and uh, or they shredded it so no one really finds out the depth of research that the cult the empire the vampire empires i like to call them the depth of research that they were doing into the workings of mind control through the project mk ultra that never ended, by the way. <laughs> ended in the 70s. Yeah, right. And everyone's running around hypnotized. <laughs> <clears throat> and that's that was a continuation of the experimentation that the Nazi regime was doing with, for example, Dr. Josef Mengele. It was actually also the Rockefeller Foundation when you look into true history and its network connection that the world actually works in networks. We need to change, this is part of the new paradigm, we need to change the categories we think in. They put frames into our mind so we don't think in the right categories and in the right concepts. The world doesn't work under this is COVID has just shown that to be so. It just brought forward what was in darkness. It brought forward into the light that state governments, as they present themselves, do not exist. They do not protect the people. Yeah, right. Haven't we seen that? They're criminals acting on behalf of the criminals as a virtual reality Truman show which people got accustomed to because they started watching The Big Brother in the beginning of the 2000s. That's an acclimatization to what it, what politics is all about. Or was it the Aussies, the Ozzy Osbourne uh, show that they had on MTV? That's all what politics is. It's just a show. They need to bring forward through institutional frames like the European Union, which runs completely under Lex Mercatoria, okay, just international um, law or international 
banking law. It's the law of the sea, which many people have also looked into. And the politicians are just a show to put forward into the public arena the agenda of the criminal class, which all works through a multinational, multidimensional, multifaceted, much more expanded, huge network of relations. In Austria we call it a Freundalwirtschaft. It's an economy of friends. They're friends with each other <laughs> and people that I would never want to be friends with. Whoa, those jackasses. I'd rather stay on my own. I'm going to hang out in Mother Nature. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for the invitation. They try to recruit me into their sick cult with the experience that I've had. Um, and I said no. So coming back to the main point. <laughs> what was the main point that I wanted to make? There's there's an overload of information here to me. There's so much to share with you. Now going back to the MK Ultra. This experimentation of mind control has long exited the experimental phase. Like there's only so much time. Oh, that's what that's what breaks the mind control. However, that's also wrongly defined. Oh, you just have to love. How about setting boundaries? That's also love. Anyways, another topic. Um, The experimental phase of mind control went out of the experiment. There's only so long that you use a prototype and from that prototype then, because they're, they're social engineers, they're technocrats. That's very precise of what the people that um, control society do. Social engineers, social engineering. That's why it's important to look into the work of Edward Bernays and really truly understand how the world works. He says it in the first page of his book, Propaganda, that they use occult. He doesn't exactly use that term, but that's how I describe it in the first page. Occult social forces to govern society and to control society. It says everything in the first page. The rest of the book is detailed to look into and get a better grip of what it's really all about. Just if you want to know about the agenda and how to implement it and what mind control is all about, look at social engineering and uh, Edward Bernays. Or Gustave Le Bon, the psychology of the masses. That's important to know because you don't want to be a part of the masses. Because the masses are always susceptible to mind control. All the mind control always comes through the masses. No matter what mass. The mainstream mass. That still goes shopping. To. To never ever have to deal with. Their issues. Because they don't have any problems. They just go from shopping centre to shopping centre. And. Go to the cinema. With their idiot friends. Get the jab so we can still go and do things that's like they're lost this life is a choice they can still make the choice if they wait if they want really want to wake up from that technocratic mainframe that they're connected to there's a lot of indication that through this experimental gene therapy um many people uh have talked about that It's a possibility, I would say, that you lose connection to your soul. However, I wouldn't go as far. Be very careful about that because I would say that, um, in my opinion, you can never be completely disconnected from your soul. But, I mean, if you look at the 
global leaders that they've presented on this shit show, it does actually make sense that Henry Kissinger has no freaking soul whatsoever. He's just a robot, just <laughs> serving his whole life. What is he, 90 now, 90 plus? Uh, the dark occult agenda, just programmed to do that. So, yeah, whatever. What I'm saying is that the spell that humanity's under goes much deeper than most people think. There's not just, yeah, there's the obvious cases. There's the obvious, which you can see from in broad daylight, obvious cases of mind control. Yeah, when they wear the muzzle. Oh yeah, they're under mind control. Does nothing whatsoever but kill them. And if anyone wants to just kill themselves, why don't they just go ahead and commit suicide? Why do it the slow roll way? That's insane. However... There are deeper levels of this hypnosis and I, I want to get into that. This is why I'm a whistleblower of the alternative media arena. You, you see, one of the slides that I use for my presentations is the aim and Gnostics are telestai. And telos uh, from its etymology means aim. You need to have an aim. So when you have an aim in life like me, I keep things simple. My aim is freedom. And I'll get everything attracted to me, what I need to manifest freedom. Not just for myself, but for everyone. What good is it for me if, oh yeah, I'm free, but Palestine's still burning. And uh, Libya's still burning down. What the fuck's that? I would use all my time to find a way for it to work for everyone. That's the only way of freedom. Yeah, and you're going to love it. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this journey, even though I break down, even though I've had the most horrible of times carrying the weight of the Gnostic takeover idea, becoming the Gnostic takeover myself. It's been, at times, it, uh, it really brought me at times to the point where I just wanted to quit and just burn the channel to the ground. It's not nice being completely excluded from people that used to interview me. I've mentioned their names many times. And getting completely ignored, not being interviewed at all anymore, all the subscribers going down, people not commenting in the comments that it looks like people don't care. So that's why in the last video, I gave a shout out to everyone, go ahead and just to make a comment, you know, I mean, if you, if someone really catches the, <laughs> the, the message of nature, the message of the forces of ultimate power, then please go ahead and just write to me, write an email to me, I'm happy to hear from true human beings, mankind, I love mankind. I not only believe, I know that we're a good species and we can learn. This is all this experience is about here in life, is to learn that there are laws which are not written on a freaking piece of paper and never, ever, ever put into effect like a constitution. They, they laugh about us, thinking in concepts like constitution, state, oh, and the state has... Uh, not got the constitution going now since COVID, and they're just—it's good. Uh, they can—they can just do that. Laws are set into reality, into the codes of reality, and they're here to be discovered, not written on a piece of paper. And then I can just eliminate those—the—the uh, the basics of a so-called constitution. I can just eliminate it whenever I feel like it. And I don't have to prove anything because I'm a criminal and I'm acting on behalf of the criminal cartel that has its subsidiary of the big pharma cartel, the big banking cartel next to the big 
uh, electronics cartel that get the natural resources from places in Africa, Uganda, you name it, Uganda. And then they set up all these electric cars, say it's sustainable development when it's freaking slavery producing these cars. All this madness. We don't want any of it. It's nonsense. And true laws are here to be discovered. Now I'm, I'm rambling on again. And the true laws is only, there is only natural law. And that which comes from natural law, which is then in the private sphere. Before anything goes public, it is first in the private. And they know it. Those who call themselves Illuminati, which have nothing to do with illumination. If they really want to know about illumination, they'll be listening to this channel, which they do. And I'm not full of myself. Oh, look, yeah, I, I, is anyone allowed to be confident these times, huh? Or do you still want to be... Do you still want to have your life governed by Klaus freaking Schwab? By Satanists that he serves? Who he's just a public figure for? For the Truman Show on TV? We, we better be confident. And you know what? Plant medicine makes you confident. It's, why the, it's the reason why it is said that Gnostics and the root of Gnosticism was the working working with psychoactive compounds that can reset your mind, which then resets the reality and then is called the Great Reset of the Natural Order, as is the name of this video. So, I want to switch gears a little bit and talk about the experience, um, take some time to talk about the experience. And I've got slides prepared also, which I'm going to go into. This will take as long as it takes. Let me just do a check who's here. Oh, we've got four people listening. You see? I don't care. This is the message. They have suppressed the Gnostic takeover like nothing I've ever seen before. I've seen it grow when I was inside the alternative media arena with all the players involved in that. I did interviews with Max Egan, with Gareth Icke, with Josh Del Sol, George Cavasilis, and everyone has ignored me ever since I've came out and gone public that we took down the high priest of Satanism here in this country in Austria. Oh, and if you think I'm totally nuts and what is he talking about? Well, you haven't had my experience and why don't you just deregister and leave this channel? Because I know what I experienced. How would anyone else outside of me know more about my own freaking experience? What do you think you're dealing with here? When you have the intention for freedom and freedom is only when you do it for yourself and for all around you, for all sentient beings. You can't have the 5G networks destroying the trees and destroying all plant life, destroying the plant kingdom, destroying the, um, the animal kingdom, the mankind kingdom. Oh, and just, oh, I'm free because I've got my spiritual business that I'm going. No one cares about your business. What people care about is people and an idea that we can get on board with. And I will share the idea. What has just dropped in to me in another video? This whole the Gnostic takeover is just starting now. I've, as I said, I've been going through struggles. That's all part of the uh, trials and jubilations. Because you know what? When you are onto something powerful, you'll get the greatest of all trials. And that's great wisdom to take away. If you're going through something right now, and you may be in that tunnel vision where you don't know how things are going to continue, well, congratulations. There's something great waiting for you. 
I've had no funds anymore, no one uh, supporting and donating to the Gnostic Takeover anymore. And I said, yeah, thank you. Thank you to everyone who's not supporting the Gnostic Takeover. Thank you for not donating. Because that was meant to be as an experience for me to go through the deepest seated of all fears, which is existential fear. And I couldn't have gone through it without this. This is, you see, where the theme of attitude comes in. You look at everything with a different attitude. Thank you that I'm going through this. Because it's only temporal. Because I know what is right. I know what is wrong. Right is everything that does not cause harm to other sentient beings. Wrong is, therefore, everything that does cause harm to sentient beings. And I'm going to go with the right. Because you know what? They're fucking insane. These lunatics, psychopaths, and all their bitch boys and bitch girls, excuse my French, the witches, the black magicians. I've had to deal with many of them. And there's nothing greater than having the message that freedom is happening. And that's what I have. I'm not here for the money. I don't give a fuck about the money. Which is my morale speaking, my principle, in real reality, yeah, I do need money still to buy food in and because, yeah, there's there's a transition phase also. So, no, I'm not completely out of that paradigm. It's not even that I don't like money. Money can be greatly used for great things. However, have we got that situation going here in the world? I don't think so. However, throughout all the difficulties I've gone through with this experience that I've had this weekend, things have shifted in a major way, in a really profound way. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that I knew, and it was actually on the day, on the 23rd of October, two years ago, that was the day when I served the notice of liability to the man who at times acts as president of Austria, Alexander van der Bellen. He was re-elected, oh, selected, yeah, now we're talking, uh, to be the president again, just lately, a few weeks ago. And exactly on that day, which is a week now, we got told that we need to move out from our home, from our flat. And I was like, oh, that's good, after the first shock, because this guy is part of the network. Oh, Steve's crazy, everyone's part of the network. Again, this is my experience. <laughs> if you know the full picture of what I'm talking about, what the Gnostic takeover is, taking back the planet, actually meaning it, not just talking about it, I'm doing it. When you know how powerful that is, when you know that that is the new paradigm, a completely new reality that's opening up, this is what Gnostics throughout the ages have always done. They have steered mankind into a direction of freedom. They taught them about moral code. They taught them about the laws of the universe. Oh, you can't know how the universe works. Says who? I know how reality works and I continue to learn every day how the nature of reality works. This is what I do every day. I've stopped doing jobs since 2017. I dropped my studies. I'm a nothing. I'm a nobody in this system. But I'm more freaking intelligence than I have more freaking intelligence than all the doctors, lawyers put to fuck put to fucking together and all the judges. Cuz they're all run under the same program. Oh, you got to obey authority. How about trusting myself and my intelligence I was born with? The intelligence I was born with. That's why the Gnostic Takeover is so under attack. Because it gives a platform for natural intelligence to speak. Through me. Which is the forces of ultimate power. And nothing has really... 
um, catapulted me into this journey of healing more because first I have to do my own healing, you see. Before I can just, oh, try and heal other people. Oh, there's these great healers out there that heal other people and they've not even healed themselves. I just saw that two days ago again. People saying, oh, I'm, an, I'm doing energetic work and you look at them and they're, <laughs> they've not got their act together. How do you want to do energetic work with people when you haven't got your act together? So why I'm honest, I first have to do the healing. Deprogram myself before I tell other people what they have to do. I just share my healing story here at the Gnostic Takeover. I'm not telling anyone what to do. And it really has been the plant medicine that has completely changed my life. It's been amazing. It's been unbelievable. And this fly agaric medicine... And I'm not going to do a disclaimer. No. I'm doing claims. I don't disclaim. I would be playing their game. Oh, I'm using a disclaimer. Oh, I'm not giving medical advice to anyone here. And uh, I could get punished for this if I speak about this topic. Nonsense! Disclaiming. Oh, I have to disclaim, otherwise this video gets censored. I don't give a fuck if it gets censored. Because it won't get censored. Because it has the right energy. Because I say so, this video doesn't get censored. Because this is what we need to be talking about right now. I wouldn't be in alignment with the idea of the Gnostic takeover if I start this video. Well, first of all, I need to say that... When I talk about natural medicine and those things that grow in nature, like the fly agaric, I have to do a disclaimer that I'm not a doctor and so people don't sue me and that I uh, have to... Yeah, you're fear. You're in fear when you do that. You're in fear of the authorities coming after you while they're committing genocide. And the pharmaceutical cartel. Killing people. By the billions. Have done so for many decades. While you. Talked about natural medicine. In this insanity. Of inversion. Where they invert everything. Oh I have to use a disclaimer. When I talk about natural medicine. How insane that is. And so that was a really important thing for me to make that point. Go fucking ahead and try and sue me. Because I'm not even in the system that you're trying to sue me for. I do not cooperate with criminals. And you all get as offended as you like. That I talk about what is important to talk about. Because I don't care what criminals think of me. If you want to go ahead and sue me for talking about natural medicine, you're part of the pharmaceutical cartel mind control mindset that has killed the best part of billions over the last hundred years. You have no power. I have all the power. That's why this video cannot be censored. Because I do not allow it to be censored. Because it has such a high resonance. Most people don't want anything to do with it. They get repelled by it. But the truth is the truth. And I will only go with the truth. If that's too much for people. Well then. The new paradigm. That's just birthing here on earth. Is not for you. And if people don't like my style, well, I like my style because I love myself. Go ahead and go somewhere else where they talk through the flower and not give you reality, but actors who perform an act and ask the experts. Oh, you mean those experts who've got licenses they have to protect so they won't ever tell you the truth? Because if they were to tell you the truth, they'll be demonized and they lose their license in this criminal system 
Now go ahead and do that. The Gnostic takeover is not for you. The Gnostic takeover is the realness. Where I know because I've made the experience. Gnosis is first-hand experience. And everyone here listening has first-hand experiences. That's Gnosis. And having an aim, it's one of the things I mentioned in my presentations, is that your life journey is your aim. Everything is included in your life's journey. Even when you were not conscious yet of the control system and its intricate aspects to it of mind control. Even if you haven't been there yet in your understanding like you are now. You have been guided by the force of creation throughout your life, unconsciously and consciously. And that's something that's come out powerfully in this fly agaric experience. As you see, I keep uh, mentioning new things that come into my mind instead of talking about the experience. So now, finally, I'm going to talk about the experience. So, again, no disclaimer. I say everyone make their own experience and listen to your intuition. I didn't have many videos that I watched. I informed myself I'm just going to talk about my experience. I'm not making any recommendation. I'm just going to be talking about my experience and the amazing healing effect this has had on me. And that's all. People make of it what you want. And that's it. This is all responsibility, sovereignty. You make your own choice. And I will also say what I don't recommend. Like, for example, just taking a huge dose and... Yeah. Anyways. It all started when we were told we have to move out from our home. And before that already, I've... Me and Liz have been struggling with... That's also the reason why I've not been doing many videos because it's been really painful and very sad. Which brought me to the point where I thought no one cares about the Gnostic takeover. No donations coming in. And those who donate are truly the absolute amazing people that go through. Because this channel is so under pressure to not be supported. Also financially. Especially in times like now where we would need support. Because once this goes going, I've got a grand vision that just dropped in with the fly agaric. I will not have to worry about money at all anymore. So if anyone has even made it to this point of 48 minutes or 43, depending. If you're watching the live stream or the video on BitChute. If anyone is still listening here at this stage. Underneath in the description below, you can make a donation or you can become a patron and support the Gnostic Takeover. Because I've just made the choice that the Gnostic Takeover University, that will be born very soon, hasn't been the time yet because I've been too much immersed into my own healing process. So I didn't have the time to set up the Gnostic Takeover. All of this will always be free. I'm not getting out of this. I had the idea that I'm going to put 99.99 .99 euros to secure my funds that I can live with the great work that I'm doing. That I can live from that. But again, this would be the old paradigm. I'm not putting a price on this. Everyone should be able to watch this material. And I will always stay for free. Everything will always stay for free. However, it doesn't mean that we don't need any support. So if you're still listening here, you like the Gnostic Takeover, you see that this does take us out of the tunnel vision. This, uh, ooh, big crisis coming. The next, Oh, haven't we had enough crisis? Oh, there has to be another crisis. No, that's manipulation. How about the sun going up now? 
And it's not darkness anymore. Even though oh, it has to get even darker. No, it's been dark for too long. Now the mist has settled and now the sun's going to come up. That's a true awakened individual speaking. Wisdom. So, with everything that has been going on, me and Liz have been for now eight months. It's heading into nine months soon. It's like a birthing process. And our last ceremony was the Ayahuasca Datura ceremony that we did together with Errol. As a side note, it's also very interesting. I'll be linking it in the description below this video. YouTube officially they sent me the email and I got a strike for the video <laughs> the Gnostic takeover in charge of planet Earth the Ayahuasca Datura uh, ceremony experience. I got a strike for that on my backup channel <laughs> and when you go into that backup channel that video is still there so YouTube gave me a strike, the strike that's still running now to take down that video, however that video is still on there, you can go ahead and still watch it. That's like, that's that's freaking magic right there. YouTube, I can prove all of this, I've got the emails, it's crazy. YouTube censoring the Gnostic takeover in charge of planet Earth, Ayahuasca Datura ceremony video. However, it's still there and you can go and watch it. <laughs> The link is underneath in the description. If that isn't proof of magic and that they have no control over this material and that there's forces of ultimate power that want this material out there, then I don't know what to say. It's a great way to show that what is happening here is truly magical. And so we've been in this birthing process of the new paradigm for eight months now. It was the most powerful ceremony that I've ever done in my life. And f four days later, Errol was gone from our life. Errol Kaya, who I did videos with, where many more people were interested in the Gnostic Takeover than they are now. However, that's just how things go. People that are not moral fall away. And so... With everything happening this month, the Gnostic takeover going public, what I talked about in the last video, me and Liz decided that it was no accident that the fly agaric has shown itself to us. Because me and Liz, having not had the donations that we wanted, or that would have made our, how should I say, our personality, our ego structure more secure, it's not what the plant medicine does. The plant medicine takes you through a process which oftentimes can feel like torture. And it's punishing you and you feel like shit. I feel like I felt at times like I'm worthless because I don't have any money. It's truly, but what the medicine's doing there is it's deconditioning you from the value system of Wetiko, the spirit of evil. To decondition you on a value system that's all based on money. But go and look at the bankers or people in high positions of marketing or people in high positions of any institution. When they sit on their deathbed, they think, what the fuck have I done? No one likes me. Yeah, of course no one likes you because you've been a prick your whole life. You've been sucking off people's energy. And many... People of many members of mankind, because I would strongly suggest there's not only mankind here on this earth, there's a species on this earth that looks like human beings, but has a machine consciousness, more of an AI consciousness, if you would like to term it that way, artificial intelligence and natural intelligence, that which mankind is endowed with. And many people are manipulated into thinking, oh, I'm a failure in life because I don't have any degrees and I dropped my university or I didn't finish school. It, 
No, your life experience is all that counts. And I'm, I can be in a position now where I can tell you I'm so happy that I never finished university. That in there was slavery. I loved the courses that I did there and that interested me. And to just leave and not do the courses that I hated doing and that I felt like, what do they even want from me? Uh, that was a true act of freedom, being able to just walk away from there. It's beautiful. So, we had very difficult times these past months. Liz having to go through this birthing process too without her child, as you remember. It's very significant that after the ayahuasca datura ceremony, uh, two weeks later, the police, together with social services, trespassed on our property. Criminal trespass, which is still ongoing investigation, where everyone who was involved there is privately liable to the extent that we say that damages were caused. And we, that trauma that we experienced there, is how the medicine works, you experience an event like that, that's very traumatic, however, it liquefies the trauma that were in the subconscious, childhood traumas, and you see a traumatic event can kickstart a healing process, like me and Liz have been through. So we've just gone through everything, we've had all sorts of things to deal with, uh, threats of all kinds, and we just like, no, we're going with the truth and nothing but the truth. It's been very, very difficult. Oof. And it came to a point where in August, me and Liz started to do um, daily meditations. Not every day. Um, did it every day for a while, but I would say at least at least five times a week since August. And we would do a heart mind meditation where we synchronize the heart with the mind and visualize our new reality and this works very powerfully it's a very powerful tool to work with because the mind cannot differentiate doesn't make um, a difference if something is imagined or if it is what we term real and that's how you can program your own reality. And that made us, because we had little money, we went to the forest regularly, into the Wienerwald, which isn't far from where we, uh, in the future, used to live. We have a lovely Wienerwald, which is a huge area of forest all around Vienna. It's beautiful. That's why I love Vienna. That's why I love Austria. And it's one of the very special places here in Austria, the Wienerwald. And um, it's very well known for, and I just have to look this up, for Porcini. I can only describe this in, uh, in Italian. Porcini, Porcino, Boletus. Um, Porcino. If anyone knows that, very delicious mushrooms. You know they're massive. In Liz, we found massive ones like those. And many other mushrooms that me and Liz did a crash course on. Liz is so good watching videos and memorizing the mushrooms um, when we're in the forest, and then we'll just pick them and make stuff with them because well, no idea where the, we can get any other food. So we just found it in the forest and what we also found was the fly agaric and as soon as I found the first one I knew it's a sign so I continued we went into the forest like at least every second day and we continued gathering the fly agaric and the mushrooms also of course and I started to dry the fly agaric and uh, by drying it to be able to use it because it's very important if you were to decide in your sovereignty, in your responsibility 
to inform yourself about this. I would, from what I've come to know, and it makes sense, you do not consume the fly agaric um, raw. So you dry it. And the drying process um, transforms one chemi chemical component that I cannot um, memorize at the moment to another chemical component that I cannot memorize at the moment. However, then when you've dried it and you um, you cut it or you grind it in a merzer, you make it um, into small bits and then you create a tea from it and this is what me and Liz did on Friday and Saturday, today Sunday and from a situation where I was really unsure how my future is going to continue, how our future, me and Liz together living together, um, how it's going to continue, we, I'm now in a position where I have no fear whatsoever. That's the effect that I can talk about. I feel completely calm, confident, relaxed. It's like this program has been switched off. The constant chat in the mind where you're not good enough and oh, where's this going to be? Oh, you've got no money. Ah, drama queen. It's off. And I would want it to stay off. Absolutely. And I've still got the slides also to get into. However, that's how we prepared it. The first time we took, as it's recommended, I can tell you this off by heart now, one to five grams of dried fly agaric. And you only, you only use the, the hut of it, not the stem, only the hut of the of the fly agaric and you dry it, you let it dry properly that it's that you can basically grind it with your fingers and um, where was I? Oh yeah and one to five gram is and I'll have the link underneath in the description for the website where you can get more information on that one to five gram apparently it's important that you mix what you found and many different mushrooms that you found that you mix them together because the dosage is a big problem because you don't know how potent any dosage is because any um, any mushroom that you find could be either highly potent or hardly any potency it's it just is not known according to the sources that I've listened to and it makes proper sense that depends you know when you pick them if you pick them in August it might be different in when you pick them in September October or at what stage you pick them young old you see these are all factors that we have no control over so the way you can um, sort of like try to put a dosage um, a sort of like um, a template together to give people something to work with themselves in terms of how to dosage it. You dry it, you mix all of the mushrooms that you've had from different days um, where you've been picking them or have ordered them and you just throw them all in together and just mix them which then you've got less potent ones with very potent ones and it makes sense. That's why that's how we did it the f like from one to five gram according to that estimate is a starter dose um, per person um, one to five gram and you boil it in a in water one to five gram then five to ten gram is a middle portion and everything upwards from 10 gram to 30 grams according to that estimate is a high dosage and of course it recommends, many people recommend to start small, which is what me and Liz did. So 
on Friday, as I said, one to five grams is a small dose. We heard people say uh, they only do one gram. Me and Liz thought, well, we're just going to go ahead anyway. And so we did seven grams together, meaning three and a half grams each. And that was a pleasant experience the first time. It was a really lovely experience. Like, I felt kind of like um, wanting to vomit in the beginning. And uh, pretty tired. That's just what happens. However, nothing psychedelic as you would expect with a psilocybin mushroom. Nothing like that. Nothing. It's so smooth, it's unbelievable. Like, the way they've portrayed the fly agaric as being poisonous and... uh, It's ridiculous. Oh, and it could be so intense and all this. Nothing like that. I have never... Even smoking weed is... um, more intense than taking the fly agaric from my experience again make of it what you want and I've completely stopped smoking weed by the way however the fly agaric the first experience it was so smooth after a while when all the I still yeah it feels kind of strange in your body you feel like vomiting but that that goes away it comes like in waves but that's probably the medicine working in your body. Now I also have to say, me and Liz, we've I've not been eating meat for a year now. I've stopped smoking for a year now. I've stopped drinking alcohol for a year now. I've proper um, cleaned my body. We've had many smoothies. We um, I've I've been eating vegan now for a year, which I would have never before imagined. But that was the instruction that I got from the plant medicine directly. This is the way to go, and I know why that is so. I would have never expected it myself. I'm not someone to push it on anyone else. I'm not telling anyone what to do, what to feel, how to act, what to eat. Uh, Especially, I don't care what you eat. It's your choice, and your choice only. Also, your choice what you make of all this information. Also, your choice to scrutinize the information, I say. Because I'm not a fake I don't crucify people for criticizing me when it's good criticism where I can learn something from that. Again, we're keeping it real here on this channel. So the first experience was amazing. And me and Liz, um, the experience was so smooth that me and Liz, we ended the ceremony after three and a half to four hours. Um, However, the first time, I forgot to hermetically seal and protect the ceremony. This is also something I'm going to be sharing with you. Because it's also important when you do a ceremony with medicinal plants, plant medicine, it's important to set the intention. And it's important, in my experience, to Um, initiate the ceremony in the beginning and then to hermetically seal and protect the ceremony in the end. This is what I do all the time. The first time, I forgot to do that. Which is something I learnt. We are all here to make mistakes and learn from them. That's why I then did it different the second ceremony. So I want to jump right into the second ceremony because that was just yesterday. Again, um, we went to bed at 10 o'clock in the evening and I've been awake basically since 3 o'clock in the morning now. And there's a lot of mist outside. Hopefully it's going to be a sunny day today. It's 7 o'clock in the morning here in Austria. It's a wonderful day and according to the Gnostic take of a motto, this is the first day of my life. Yeah, I choose it to make it so. I've been going through shit in my life. As had everyone. It's just a a matter of how open people are to share with other people. 
others of mankind. And you especially do that when you're in a place of confidence. You share, well, you know, my life has also been fucked up. I've had depressions for more than 10 years. Why? Because it's a fucked up society under mass psychosis and hypnosis. And it just so happens that I'm connected with something they call life force energy, which is actually everything, but no one talks about it in those terms. Everyone talks about God and that that's the same as the source, which I very much disagree because God is an anagram of dog and they just want to misuse the principle of a dog for us to be as loyal to the criminal class as dogs are loyal to whoever um, they serve. God is not the source. Source is the source. And I don't do God. I'm very strict on that. Why? Because I have integrity. It's the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. When I know something is wrong in my personal experience, then I'll say, that's wrong, that's right. And in my reality, I'm right. You in your reality, you can choose whatever. Use God, I won't stop you. I don't care what you do. I'll, I just got this channel here to share my message because everyone's message is important in these times because we've lost our voice the muzzle it's a symbol of losing the voice so the psychopaths can speak the bullshit that they're speaking and so we've got controlled opposition in the alternative media speaking for us pretending they're our friends when they're not I would just point that we don't know these people Many of them are fakes. Anyways, back to the fly agaric. And I'll just say that openly. I've made that experience. Okay, People can get as offended as they like. I've had heroes like David Icke, who I've learnt a lot from. However, I had to leave him behind. The same as I had to leave Mark Passio behind. One of my great heroes, Mark Passio, teaching about natural law, which made me become a teacher of natural law and the natural order. Mark Passio, one of the main influences on that. It's a dream for everyone. I'm part of his um, uh, of his One Great Work Network. I'm featured there. I could upload my videos there and say, Whoa, my great hero, Mark Passio, has added me. I don't do that. I've written to him five times to take me down from there because I don't agree with what he does. So I've outgrown my mentors. That's, I think, what we are here to do in life. And hopefully people outgrow me. I'm not your hero. I'm a hero only for myself. You know why? Because I hate slavery. I hate it when jackasses treat mankind like they do. And it's only me that can put a stop to it. First I do focus on my own healing, and then I go public. And tell everyone about the laws of freedom. Anyone who wants to be free, and anchor themselves in freedom, will go ahead and join us in our events. Go ahead and listen to the videos here. Go ahead and join the Gnostic Takeover University. That's upcoming. So, again... First fly agaric experience was just beautiful. It was amazing. So smooth, so calming. Absolutely nothing that you would think of an experience with a magic mushroom. And take nothing away from it, even if you don't have the visions and even if you don't have all these crazy things that I have experienced on psilocybin mushrooms. If in, even if I didn't have that, this is still, I would say now, the most magical mushroom of them all. That's what I go on record here. Because it gives you clarity. It gives you calmness. Oh, I could talk for hours about it. And I, at this point, I just have to say, what a beautiful field of consciousness. And what a great teacher the fly agaric represents. It's very beautiful. So I want to absolutely honor that. 
it's so important to honour and respect this plant medicine, which is why I talk about it here. I don't care who it offends or who doesn't want that because they because when you take um, natural medicine in a conscious, in a responsible way, I want to really point that out, not just go crazy on it and say, oh, Steve told me to just take it. No, I didn't tell you that. If you watch this video, I tell you that you have to make your own responsible decision and trust your own intuition and inform yourself about dosage, for example and how to prepare and how to set the intentions for all everything that I'm going to be talking about here. And you can then not just do the way I do it, but do what feels right for you. That's what this is all about, finding our own way and not just copying. You are unique, same as I'm unique. That's why teaching is the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. As Socrates said, I'm just here to kindle the flame, like my flame is being kindled by the fly agaric. It's the same principle. This is true education, this is true healing, true learning. It's how learning actually is a great lot of fun. It's amazing, it's beautiful. So, in the second fly agaric ceremony, we upped the dosage. So, before we took 7 grams, 3.5 grams each, and the second ceremony was 12 grams, 6 gram each. And so I thought, yeah, let's see how this is going to go. Um, but I was less nervous than the first time, in the second ceremony. And again, in the second ceremony, smooth. I mean, I can only say, as I said, for a year now, I've been cleansing myself. Eating the right food. Um, not always, obviously, but just getting away from all the addictive stuff. Even since August, I've dropped coffee. Not drinking any coffee anymore. Drink tea now. Never really drunk tea. So, maybe it was like that because of that. If I were more, if there were more toxins in my body, maybe it wouldn't have been like that. But it was just so smooth. And what I've realized, it's the, what, the fly agaric. And I'm going to be talking more about it. It's a connector mushroom. It connects you to your essence. It connects you to the natural order. It connects you to the wood wide web. It felt amazing. It, 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 it's pure healing. It was pure healing for me. I feel so good now. When I was really stressed out before. It's all sorts of things. I'm in a place of real calmness now. And when we took it, me and Liz, in the second ceremony, pretty quickly again, I had this some um, sort of feeling of wanting to throw up, wanting to purge. However, it didn't 